Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to what could possibly be the last Earthbound stream. We need to grab this last um, melody that I missed, the sixth one, because I have one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight up here in Dalam. And then we can go hunt down Gygus. I think. I don't know if there's anything in between that step. That's the plan. <laughs> oh, this is what the carrot key's for. Makes sense. Makes sense. Hello. Very hostile spirit. Thundermite, as I walk in the door. Okay. Just destroy a nest. That works too. So yeah, I'm a little overpowered for this area, simply because I forgot to come here. So this will this won't take long. Just gotta find my way through and maybe find some loot on the way. Yeah, maybe yeah, yeah, words. Maybe they'll be the last piece of Pooh's gear in here. I was about to say, they better not count as an ambush. The hell is this? The Tangu? Okay. It's dead now. Creepy thing. Might actually take damage for once. Maybe. Nope, they use flash. It's a long way down just for a present. Bracer of Kings. Cool. Just exactly what I was talking about. I did not know that was actually here. I just know that <laughs> this is Pooh's area and he's missing one piece of gear. Cool. Pooh has all of his gear. I don't know if Pooh gets a weapon or not. I don't know if he does. I did not mute my phone. Sorry, it was loud. Yes, there is a sword of kings. I don't know where it appears, but it exists. I wonder if I already missed it. Extremely rare item. It can be dropped by the Super Starman in Stonehenge Base. Huh. That means I can no longer obtain it. That's fun. 
because having killed the boss and shut down the base, they don't spawn anymore. Oh well. Who can get along just fine punching things? The kiss of death. Okay. Apparently, Trigun is getting remade. 25 years of the first anime series, Trigun will be reborn in 2023 in Pedro Trigun Stampede. Produced by Studio Orange, one of the best, in Japan's best 3D animation with an all new staff and cast. That is like, incredibly exciting. Give me one second. Just spam the shit out of my friend real quick. I just pinged him like six times <laughs> in just one spot. Sudden Guts Pill. Do I have four of those yet? One, two, three, four, five. I've been saving all of them. I have five currently. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. I'm saving them for the fight against Gagas. I have been the entire game because so I didn't know if there'd be more than four. Let's pick this one. Where's this one go? That's a present. Rock candy. Ugh. All right, we're gonna give it to Paula again, hoping it increases her HP. Her guts went up. Damn it. I mean, that's a good up for anybody, but fuck. back here. Oh, I found the way through. We finally got here. <laughs> this is your sixth. This is the sixth your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. What took you so long to get here? Take it from me if you dare. <laughs> Thunder and storm. Alright, let's be smart about this. A. Thank you, game. And try and, like, ease into the spells. They don't have a, uh, a psi shield. So now I can go ham on them. <laughs> this poor boss. Why don't put a psi flash, huh? Eh, I don't need it. <laughs> I know I'm overpowered for this, but damn, that poor boss didn't get to do shit. The uh, the carbon dog and the diamond dog might not have been so hard if I had uh, done this first. Ness has short vision about seeing his mother when, he was young, when she was young. Ness soundstone recorded the melody of Pink Cloud. 
Dull Eight Melodies. has obtained the world. <clears throat> Dia better watch out. I'm not in control of this. Look, it's Little King. Pupper King. There's Baby Ness. Ness, hmm? I think Ness is the right name for him. Ness. He smiled just from hearing his own name. Think he likes his name? Try putting that red cap on him. <laughs> it's too big, but it looks good on him. I hope King won't be jealous of the baby. Let's celebrate with some pizza. This baby will grow up to be a hard worker just like you. I don't think he needs to be rich or famous. I want him to be thoughtful, strong boy. That's odd. Bay bottle he pointed at seemed to move a little bit. Hmm. Maybe we're just seeing things, honey. Don't worry about it. Surely he's not psychic. I think my jammies. Oh no. Ness, you stood up you stood on the eight power spots of the earth. From these you created Magnikin, the realm within your mind. In Magnikin, there's beauty, kindness, sorrow, and hatred. Of course there's an evil violent side of you. The Sea of Eden is at the center of those feelings. It takes you to the truth about yourself. It's the realm Magnikin, which your mind created. Why don't you explore your mind? Take your time, Ness. Stuck. Ness! Maybe you don't want to hear this. But you remind me of myself when I was young. I can't do anything more for you. Good luck, Ness. P P P P P P P. Just a faint memory. You don't usually remember me. You heard my song in the back of your mind. Who are you talking to? This thing. Welcome the automatic teller machine. Twenty thousand dollars on me. I'm pretty sure I'm good. Is there a store in my mind? So the shot specializes in putting in pendants. Would you like to buy some, won't you? What do you want to buy? Magic pen magic pudding earth pendant. Hmm. Can sell actually some stuff here. Yeah. Sell the pixie bracelet. Yes. Sell the snake. Oh god, there's a snake in my mind now. The snake just exists in my head. And sell the Casey bed, because I'm not gonna use it again. Buy one. 
Oh, I don't need this earth pendant. I had the rabbit's foot. Ness can lose the bit of defense for the speed that this thing gives. Chee 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 chee. Hamlet was a quiet small town, wasn't it? Ah, hi, sis. Brother Ness. The Sea of Eden at the end of Magnuson. Other people can't get close to it. It's a strange place. Is there anything I can do for you? Yes. What do you want me to do? Store. Let me to store. The key to the tower. The eraser eraser. That's it. Oh, Ness, are you tired from traveling on your adventure? Yes. I wish you can stay here forever. I'll make some pizza for you. Ah, uh, yes, to stay in my mind forever. What a great place to be. Hi, King. Number wine. I lived in your house before you were born. Ness used to be small and weak. Well, that's rude. You saying you don't like me, King? Because I love you, Pupper. I'm stuck. Okay, never mind. Kicked my butt badly. I won't forget. Oh, God, Sparf. You destroyed my pride. Ah. Hey, it's Magnikin. <laughs> Is this snowman talk? Thank you for remembering me. Hey, cow. It's me. I am you when you were younger. Hey, let's play ball. Do you prefer reading comics or playing games? What? You're busy. Welcome to the realm inside Ness's mind. I'd like you to take your time, because this country will disappear when you wake up. Peace. We haven't played together lately, though. Kaka. -ka. Fresh. Ness, Pokey took my snack. La la la. My name's Nico. Let's run and sing and dance. Gah. Long time no see, Ness. Wah, well, uh, Ness, let's play. Sai Carmel. Ooh, nice. I know the name of the girl you used to like. Oh? Who's that? Is it her? Which one is it? Is it the blonde haired or the brunette? Tell me, snowman. Fuck you, Pokey. What are you doing inside my head? Ness, you're so lucky. I envy you. I have no luck. But Ness, well, okay. Let's be friends forever. No, fuck you. We had fun one snowy day. I melted. I'm still ruining your memory. That's good that Mr. Snowman lives on forever. Said the magic realm is my mind. Why is there a graveyard here? This is Buzz Buzz Tombstone. Oh no! He appeared early in the game and gave up the ghost before he achieved his goal. Hello? I am your courage. I follow you here in Magnuson. My name? Let's say Flying Man. The Flying Man joins you. Talk to me? I'm sorry, there's not really much to say. Do you want to talk to me? I'm sorry, there's really not much to say. I'm guessing they all say the same thing. Can I have one Flying Man on my party at a time? Ness, I still feel the pain where you wounded me. of Eden is filled with ultimate intelligence. You can't go there unless you're truly ready. It's a place where you can touch the truth of the universe. Going there may bring sorrow. Ah, the presence hostile. Heck you loaded dice. It's a beautiful UFO. And a carefree bomb? Oh, 
my class UFO. Stop calling for help! <laughs> Flying man, no! Okay, you know what? Ow. How much life do you have? Just 46,000 experience. So in the present, there was a bag of Dragonite. Hey, me. Found that cap that you lost. That's got the baseball cap. It's not better than my lucky coin. But I have it now, I guess. Thanks. The electro swoosh. Sent a greeting. That's so nice of it. Yay, Franklin Badge. Huh? Was this an error? The French Kiss of Death. Hang on now. Ness a little young for this. Heck, you load a dice. again. Butterfly. No, oh, butterfly. Give. There we go. I take the right damn way again. I think I did. Eyes. Hello, electric swoosh. Said they're greeting. So nice of it. Too bad for them I can't defend the badge. You know, because Ness wasn't already, like, stronger than everybody else in the party. Ooh, a Magnus in that. Nice. Now he has this area on his own where he can just get, like, tens of thousands experience. They're pretty easy. Like, well, that's a lot. Mr. Molecule. Just got wrecked. Jesus. Yeah, three hits, three auto attacks, 26,000 experience. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Magic tart inside, but he has too much stuff already. Shit. Uh, goods. Ultimate bat drop. Magic tart. Throw that bat off the edge of my mind. It'll be fine. Hey, 
Not what I meant to do, but... I can top myself off for 40 HP I was missing. So I guess, uh, Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core is getting a remake, which is pretty cool. I liked Crisis Core. I remember it being a pretty decent game. Is that swirly thing what I'm looking for? Oh my god, it's a lot of enemies. Yeah, take care of the bomb. Heck the bomb. That's still a lot of enemies, holy crap. Why are they all question marks? Ah, uh, nice, don't miss. This thing those bombs and they hurt. Can I turn it go? Oh, cow, did you see the cards I pulled today? Did it finally load on your end? I like uh, Huckmon's effect because Huckmon's effect means that there's a Sistermon deck. Or there will be a Sistermon deck. One of the two. What the hell is this? Teleport point. You missed Toyogamon Black? Oh, hey, look. It's the Kraken again. Ow, I hurt my ear more than hurt an ass. Actually, I wonder. TCG player. Is there Sistermon cards? There is Sistermon cards. And they're 10 cents a piece, damn. Oh wow, Sistermon CL alternate arts, $27. I mean, I could buy two of them with the Chimaramon I pulled earlier today. So I pulled an alternate art Chimaramon. I bought some packs today because buying cards is a very bad habit. I shouldn't go to the card store and pay today, but I went twice. <laughs> but I pulled a Chimaramon alternate art hollow today, and it's like worth $37, which is pretty cool. Here, hang on. Save image as. Yep, downloads. Open. That's not what I wanted it to do. Ah, whatever. I'll just send it to Cal. I was gonna shoot up on the stream like I normally do, but like. It wasn't. It's not downloading properly. I went wrong one.
Hey, look, the money my statue. Don't point boing me. Found the money, money statue, but yeah, this should work. So here's Sister Mont Blanc and Sister Mont Ciel. They look pretty cool, honestly. Hey, what's her effect? Are you Digimon with Huckmon in their names or Royal Knight in their party? It's plus 2000. Ooh, nice. It's a buff. Digimon have Huckmon in its name or name? Those are really cool looking. But those are the alternate arts. So, like, they're super expensive. Like I said, like, one's $27 and one's $26 a piece. So, it hurt, it, it, you know. You have to spend a good bit if you want to get them. But, on how viable a Sister Mon deck is. I am the evil part of your brain. You can't beat me because you're the one that forced me to be. Ness's nightmare attacks. Let's hit it for 603 damage. <laughs> Just crit it before it even shield itself. Oh, you can't heal yourself, you bastard. I'll crit you for that. Uh-oh. It's gonna crit me back. Ow. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, stop the attack. Oh, it didn't work. Thank God. Stop healing yourself. Why does it not work on me? That's weird. The first one hit me. A glorious light, and this cannot stop crying. Yeah, yeah, just keep using the side games. But apparently, it doesn't affect me at all. Okay, that one hurt. I stand corrected. Hit myself for 150 damage. Nice. So the biggest downside of those sister mon cards is um how weak they are. Like they'd be good buffs, but you'd have to have like a whole royal knight deck for them to help. Or, you know, Huckmon cards. I wonder if Huckmon affects anything else. Like. Oh, excuse me. Because Huckmon's name doesn't carry on down the line. Nah, just don't hit yourself. Yeah, I beat up my own nightmare. Heck, you nightmare. Now what? Nest your familiar voice at the center of the Sea of Eden. Gygus' goal is to destroy you. Listen carefully. Everything in the universe could be destroyed at the hands of Gygus. But he and his followers are also in trouble. The Apple of Enlightenment has foretold. Like, I guess his attempt will fail. Did Apple Kid make the Apple of Enlightenment? <laughs> it is because of the existence of a boy named Ness. That's me. Listen. <laughs> Free your mind and know what you must do. 
Your destiny has already been decided. You, I, where should we go? You know, deep within the reaches of your mind. S Saturn. Saturn Valley, yes. Go to the valley where Mr. Saturn lived. And you'll get something new there. Soon, Magnus will be no more. We must be quick. Ness really heard his own voice. Go to Saturn Valley. Go to Saturn Valley now! Ness is filled with the power of giant step. Speed increased by five, time increased by five. What's going on with my HP? Why is it going down and back up? Okay. So this is kind of like bullshit, honestly. Ness gets a huge buff. Ness's mind instantly cleared. He realized he possessed great power. At that moment, Ness's psychic abilities, radic psychic powers, radically expanded. Ness gained two hundred thousand experience. My HP went up by 163, my max PP went up by 363. And he realized ties side teleport omega side teleport beta. Like Ness made all the hidden powers his own. Ness stored the power of the land into his heart and minus it was no more. Now you can wake up. Your friends are waiting for you. It's time to get up. Sound so that Ness used to have is now gone. What happened, Ness? You've been unconscious for a long time. You kept saying something. Saturn Valley? What's waiting for us there? Anyways, we need to teleport. So welcome to Pink Cloud. Goodbye, Pink Cloud. I guess I'm not getting the rest of the loot out of that place, but... But yeah, like... Look at the stat difference between Ness and Paula now. 219, 156, you know, 94 speed, 69 speed, 71 guts, 46 guts, 50, 17, 57, you know, 110, 74, like, Ness gets a huge buff from realizing, you know, all of his powers. And he has a fuck ton of life. Like, I get he's the main character, but, like, his buff is on the bit of the ridiculous side. Yeah, look how much life I have now. I have more life than the other... Th no, not all of them combined. Almost more life than all of them combined. Yaha! The Mr. Saturns are incredible folk, and the Apple Kid, he is a most exceptional young man. Very different from other kids. Well, anyway, the prototype phase the fort story has been stolen. Someone resembling a pig wearing clothes took Mr. Saturn captive and stole the device. He's a tank healer support DPS character, yeah, basically. Excellent, excellent. Everything proceeding as planned. Dr. Undernuts, Mr. Saturn, and I work together. Finally completed the phase's order. The purpose of the device is to enable instantaneous travel through space and time. This prototype can only travel to, to, only travel to different points within the same time period. It is able to search out the location of enemies. Right now, it's indicating the presence of enemies in the lost underworld. Hi, Lux. I didn't mean to get in it. Hmm, it doesn't work. One thing is missing. That material cannot normally be found on Earth. The term I'm thinking came from a meteorite that fell when it was I was much younger. Have you seen a meteorite somewhere recently? No. Hmm, so we're on the way for a meteorite to suddenly fall from the sky? Hmm. You haven't seen a meteorite? Hmm, think for a minute. Have you seen a meteorite somewhere recently? Sure. There you go, that's it. This piece of the meteorite, I can synthesize the material Zex Zexonite. 
Uh, it went good. We cleared it in like 20 or so minutes. That your mortal enemy Gygus, or whatever, will allow you to get will allow you to go to on it and get a piece of the meteorite. Now on it is by now on it is in evil hands. You must go though. Let's take every possible precaution. Mr. Sands have introduced some of their new developments at the shop. Please check them out before you leave. I wonder what on it is like at this point in time. I don't know, you keep talking, I can't go there. We got through it pretty fast. We got a healer off party finder and worked pretty fast. We did. We had one wipe on um, phase one and two wipes on phase two because stupidity. I killed uh, Fritz, then Fritz killed me back. You want the join? You were the first person I went to, but I wasn't sure if you're you and Hath and everyone's running tonight or running this week or not. I didn't want to leave. I wanted to talk. It's nothing new. Oh. Piggy jelly. you guys get through it pretty fast. Have you guys cleared it yet as a group? Or have I just been carrying members of your group through it when I need <laughs> when you guys are off for a week and I need assistance? No, you haven't cleared as a group yet? I drug you through P4, right? Did I drag you? Which one did I drag you through? I don't remember. I know I drug Cordelia and uh, Cheza through. That's right. So we are still progging. Or maybe we were just teaching you everything as we went, I don't remember. Ghost of Saturn Man, huh? I heard a lot. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, note the self. The ghost of Starman can cast Psy Starstorm. Speaking of. Save some lives. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Ness, you finally showed up. They're playing cute monsters running around on it now. Townspeople are barricading their homes, afraid to go out. I'm fine. I'm a bit scared. I think it would be okay if we just sit here quietly in the dark. You hungry? Do you want to eat some pizza? Yes. Pizza me, mother! Are you more relaxed? Okay. King, what's up? You protecting everybody? At this point, you guys might just be the strongest force in the world. Don't you think? King, protect the house. I believe in you, Papo. Dad, I have far too much money. You named King Zohana. <laughs> Did you enjoy it then when King just noped out right in the beginning? Or Zahana? <laughs> Under what Pokey's dad has to say. Nothing. Okay. By the way, I like how at the start of the game, Pokey's dad's like, your dad owes me like tens of thousands of dollars. And my dad's just putting like 50 grand in my account every time I talk to him on the phone. <laughs> Not paying Pokey's dad back at all. Wallops Jeff upside the head, jeez. Just like crack Jeff's skull open with a bat from inside my mind. Another surprise attack. I missed. Rangestruck always seems like a waste of a turn, like, this is the first time the game I've been affected by it since I came to evil on it. Like... I walk up this hill because I'm sure there'll be a boss fight. Anything shiny that you can reach. Do you want to try and get it? Yes. Ness got the meteorite piece. 
I just walk out of here like nothing happens. I guess. I guess there's not a boss fight. Can I make it? Yeah! Yes, this is fantastic. What? I've never actually seen this incredibly rare element before. It's very intriguing. Alright, if everything to us, you get some rest. This is going to be most fascinating. I like how, like, Jeff's dad is here just working with a bunch of other people and didn't invite his genius son to, like, help at all. <laughs> Do you want slumber? K.O. Fence shower. Nice. Finally, he fixed the damn trumpet. Finally, it's complete. The phase disorder version 2. It's with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid. Get right in. It's just one thing, though. You might not be able to return, so make sure you're optimally outfitted. Radio? Yes? Even if you're not 100%. Perfectly, completely ready. It should be as prepared as possible. It works for the best. Without care preparation, you'd be in big trouble. So make sure you're ready. Let me know when your preparations are complete. I said they're complete. Good. <laughs> At last, the time has come. Are you ready? Yes. Remember, the phase store, version 2. It's good with two new features. First, you can prepare biological functions. Second, you can see your progress. Don't be afraid. Get right in. You hate it? Hate what? You don't trust anything shaped like a Mr. Saturn? Why? Greetings, you are finally here. Excellent, you are truly excellent. There's only a little time left. I give you the last power. I must go now. <laughs> Pooh became conscious of Psy Storm Omega. Why don't you trust the Mr. Saturns, Cal? Look, here's one right here. Who are you talking to? Kidnapped. I was. Doing. Boing. Kidnapper. Bad guy. Bad guy gone. Zoom. Where? To the past. Ding ding. Next chest of broken phase disorder. There was a horn of life. How do you know what the horn of life does? Revise a friend who's unconscious. In addition, it works well on poison, nausea. Cold sunstroke, falling asleep, uncontrollable crying, and feeling strange. This is effective when you have paralysis or you've been diamondized. So it's just cure it's a cure-all. No problem here. Okay. Wait, what do I do then? Phase disorder has been completed. We could finish it quickly because Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gaius is attacking from our exact location, but he's attacking from many years in the past. It's very hard for me to tell you, but... We must warp to the past and fight, but... We're here too, boing. What am I supposed to do? Do I have to go back to my phase disorder? Also, how'd you build a second one so damn fast? Oh, now you do something. Okay. In order to defeat Gygas, who's attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. This can be done by the way of the phase of Story 3. However, the machine cannot warp living things, I mean life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish this time travel is to transfer your brain program into a robot and send the robot to the past. 
The, the transfer means your spirit will go with the robot while your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back from the bat after the battle from in the past. Yet you must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. Do you wish to face Gygas by traveling to the past? Yes. Hmm. You accept this while well knowing that you may not be able to return to your current form, right? Yep. Yes. I see. You really have your mind set on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Ness, please give me that red cap. Ready? Stand by. Ness, Paula, Pooh, Jeff, my son. There's no turning back now. Ness, I trade the phased sword of three by your own hand, thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? Yes. Only a few people know of your amazing courage. But the number of people you save through that bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of a monumental undertaking. <laughs> what, do you think he'd make the robots look like exactly like us or something? a bit more than just buckets. Well, you expected wrong. Wow, did Wooly Shambler and the ultimate Octobot. <laughs> we look like that basket from Monopoly. <laughs> Glad no one died in that fight while I was mashing A and not paying attention. That works too. Ness can just crit the shit out of that star man. Alright, Pooh, it's all to you. Or I can hit it. Never mind. Never mind, Pooh, I got it. Does Paula stay paralyzed? She does. Can I cure this? I can. Cool. I guess the biggest benefit to Ness having a crap ton of PP now is I can just spam life up. Like... I don't have to worry about it when I'm trying to heal anymore. Hmm. 
Anyways, welcome to the cave of the past. There's a cave in the past. I don't know what kind of explanation you expected. Ness has big PP energy. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Hang yourself. That was a good joke. I like that. <laughs> I managed to turn Pooh. Pooh bot just in time. Let's not get ambushed by this wooly shambler. There's a multi bottle rocket inside. Nice. Okay, I need to actually, like, sort out. We can just throw that out or not. Um, throw that out or not. Um,. Is it better than what you have? No, it's not. Okay. Drop the death ray in the past. Perfect. No one can get it here. In the baddest beam. I shouldn't throw the baddest beam away. Why not? What I really want to do is give that to Pooh. I want to make sure everyone has a sudden guts pill on them. It looks like everyone does. And then give that to Jeff. There we go. So I've saved these pills the entire game because they give like 50 to your gut stat. For like an entire battle. Squatter demon. I'd love to use like Psy Storm Omega, but it takes so much PP. It's just really not worth it. <laughs> I mean, it's totally worth it, but it's not worth it on like. It's not worth it to just, you know, use it willy nilly. Legendary bat. Paula takes it. No, I want it. The hell, Paula? You can have the magic tarp, actually. And I'll take that. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, don't you side star storm. God, that hurts so much. Oh, well, Jeff's dead. Can save Pooh at least. I might have been able to save Paula. But. Well, their robot bodies have been trashed. Now they're just spirits. Raise Paula. Back into a robot body. Raise Jeff. Cool. Worked both times. Ness needs bigger heal. I wanted to say it before I walked into it, but... I don't know if there's going to be a phone, like, anywhere prior to Gagas, so, like... If I die, I would like to not run the whole way back. <laughs> I say if, but fighting Gagas is like no easy feat. <laughs> Final Starman, huh? Wow, oh, so that I got reflected back in the Paula's face. when healing Omega doesn't raise. Well, that works. Yes. Onwards to the end. Jump into this sphere of whatever. That's ah, another freaking ghost of Starman. Is 
you just got the fourth melody. Nice. Oh, cool. Awesome. That solid solidified. You unlocked too. Pooh's a good character. It's weird that he can't have, like, well, he can only have one weapon and it's missable, which kind of sucks. Well, I guess you can give him other weapons too, but, like, he doesn't benefit from them nearly as much as he does his own one weapon. Level 80. But I used beta on Paula. She didn't need anywhere near that much. Yes. Well, he can... Apparently, he can use, like, yo-yos... But they're not nearly as effective on him as him just punching things, I think. Because of the hit chance of a yo-yo. But yeah, he can only equip um, anything of the kings. Of kings. Yo-yos are useless. Yeah, they kind of are. Much as I love a yo-yo weapon. The yo-yos in ter oh yeah Terraria wow the yo-yos in Earthbound have such a low hit chance the yo-yos in Terraria are awesome all right put this here in case I in case I die Anyways, meet Gygus. And there's po there's Pokey. If you've been wondering where he's been this whole time. Ness, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. I assist only the strongest in Abel. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment already has already made a prediction. But I won't let the Apple of Enlightenment predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gygus. Gygus will be stronger and a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gygus, and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gygus, no. Gygus is no longer the ruler of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself, which cannot be controlled on its own. He is the evil power. Yeah, Pokey's a little shithead. Alright, so... Where is it? I saved all of these. So I figure if they're going to have a good use, it'll be here. Magician bat? It was good until I uh, picked up the legendary bat. <laughs> Oh, the music got really heavy all of a sudden. Ah! Why'd they hit me? Okay, I'm already dying. I need this turn to end so I can heal myself, please.
Come on. No! Guy's got his turn first. Damn it. Okay, so I need to kill Pokey first because hitting the nest face has destroyed me. Uh, <laughs> Goods. I don't know what this even does. I've made a terrible mistake. No, it might just be time to uh, just do this. That went south very fast. Also, I didn't like fully heal everybody <laughs> before I walked into this final fight. Cover as much of Paula's PP as I can. That's all I can actually recover of it. All right. Yeah, it was a mistake to use Size Star Storm. I'm like, yeah, just blast them, and it just blasted Ness in the face for like a thousand damage. And the turn took so long, I didn't get back to Ness in time to heal him. Try this again. Goods. Sudden guts pill. Goods. Sudden guts pill. Goods. Sudden guts pill. Goods. Where'd he go? Sudden guts pill. Okay. Paul's gonna die for Ness can get his turn. That's awesome. Let's play all the speed I have given Ness. Damn it, Paula, get up, come on. Just got him up to <sighs> fucking pick up Pokey. 
Yeah, bye, Paula. This is why it kind of sucks that Ness is the only one that gets this huge buff. Because of how much damage these two can dish out, Ness is really the only one that can survive. Like... Damn, you guys are already claiming to be heroes. It's a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gygus. You must feel pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what Gygus looks like. If you ever to see Gygus and you're so petrified with fear, you'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. Show me to turn off the devil machine? Prepare to be amazed. So isn't this terrifying? I'm terrified too. Gygus cannot think rationally anymore. He isn't even aware of what he's doing now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. What an almighty idiot. Yep, that's what he is. <laughs> and you, you will be just another meal to him. Now it's time to try and pick people up. Ness could not grasp the true form of Gygus' attack. Ness's body became numb. Oh, I need to use Omega to heal myself, damn it. Ness. Use my paralysis. Do you have. No, oh, shh, damn it. I just cured myself. Goods. Horn of Life. Paula. Had no visible effect on Gaius. Oh, come on. Please cleanse yourself. Stop trying to heal Gagas. Oh my god. Defend, Ness. Call it defend. Since Ness can't stop trying to heal other heal Gagas. Really, it didn't cure his confusion? Ness, I need you to stop being confused. That's cool. Well, now that I've used literally all of my healing items and I have nothing left to pick up, uh, Jeff, 
Not a PP. I guess it's weird. He's meant to be weird. You're not meant to grasp his form. Did I just heal poo? I need to get my ass up off the ground is what I need. Damn it, I need to use beta. Oh, come on! Can I keep Paula up off the fucking ground, please? No, I can't. Alright. It'd be great if Paula could get off the ground and stay fucking alive for one turn. Like, I literally cannot cleanse fast enough to get Paula up so I can use fucking prey. Am I really just gonna keep getting screwed over like this with attacks and RNG? Like. He doesn't have to use the full party attack. He could use a debuff. He could use Thunder and not hit Paula twice. He could do plenty of different attacks. And now I'm out of PP to attack to raise Paula with. Cool. That's game over. I literally can't beat the game without Paula being alive. Oh, and I didn't heal everybody before. This is cool. This is fun. Glad everything went so well with my last two attempts at this.
Like, I'm not even getting, like, a chance to buff with their opening attacks. Oh, thank you for the follow, Senior Duckington. I just noticed it. Let's just cast shield first. Didn't even get a chance to cast it. Cool. Awesome. Man, Paula, if you could live more than one fucking turn, that would be awesome. Like, for some reason, I am deflecting the attack with Psychic with my Psy Shield, and he's just deflecting it back to me with his shield. It's not just like disappearing. Like I thought it would. Also, Pooh, why are you suddenly doing one damage? Weren't you doing more damage last time? Stop doing that, that'd be awesome. Because for some reason, I'm not doing nearly the same amount of damage I was doing last run, and I'm not sure why. Like, even with the defense downs or the offense downs like I was still doing some damage to Pokey and now I'm just not
I don't remember this fight being this hard. Please don't do that exact thing and kill Jeff. <sighs> I would like to have everyone alive on my team for one turn. Just, just one. Like... Cleanse that. Oh, yeah, now he solidifies. That's cool. Might have fenced back up to where it was. For the follow. Attack shank. Attack. Yeah. <laughs> you must really be at the end of your rope. In this bizarre dimension, you four are the only force fighting for justice. And here you stand, waiting to be burned up with the rest of the garbage of this universe. Ah, uh, it's so sad I can't help but shed it to you. You know, my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. Do you want to scream for help here in the dark? <laughs> Why not call your mommy, Ness? Say, Mommy, Daddy, I'm so frightened to think I'm going to wet my pants. You know, I know you have telepathy or something. Just try it. Call for help. Pathetic, weak heroes. So-called justice. 
No one will help you now. <laughs> Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will be over soon. And yes. No, I never found that out. To a strength possible, oh, please, somebody help us. This is why you can't finish the game without Paula, because you need to use Prey to start the sequence. the Mr. Saturns felt a new, startling feeling. They had never experienced it before. They started praying for the safety of Ness and his friends. I guess his defense is pretty much safe. Not grasp the true form of Gaius' attack. I just cured that! Jeff, no! It's like LSD simulator <laughs> texture. No, this is the true form of Gaius, which is, uh, hey, look, it's the Runaway Five. And there are six members. Well, I guess there's only five of them there. Suddenly, the Runaway Five felt something. And he prayed fervently for the safety of Ness and his friends. The text advanced automatically. I didn't push anything, so I missed what the first part said. 49 HP damage to Gaius. Get up, Jeff. Please, give us strength. Speed this prayer to all the people of the Earth. So much like Earthbound Beginnings, we can only win by um, the use of the song. You need, but everyone in that party learns song or sing. Um, Paula's father thought he heard, somehow heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Paula and her friends. You can only beat this one with prey because it's the only way to initiate this sequence where Gygas takes damage and you get powered up and whatnot. Um, mess. Go back. It hurts. It hurts. But that involves keeping, you know, Paula alive, which is kind of hard. Tony just busts out the door. Suddenly, Tony felt anxious about Jeff. He prayed strongly for the safety of Jeff and his friends. Yeah, it hurts, Ness. 
Damn it, there's Jeff again. Oh, well, I guess I can't revive Jeff anymore. I mean, I can revive him with, like, Ness, but... Friends. Paula, pray from the bottom of her heart. Please, grant us power. young woman in Dalam awoke from a dream in which Prince Pooh died. She began to pray for the well-being of Pooh and his friends. All the women of Dalam are like, oh god, Prince Pooh's about to die. No, just Jeff. Just Jeff, who I can't keep alive. Wait, do I have an item to revive him? Nope. That's the dude, <laughs> Frank, that we beat up behind the arcade. He has to pray diligently for the safety of Ness and his friends. Oh, good, Ness went first. Jeff's alive! Yeah, but it's just a sequence. Like, you just basically have to survive the onslaught of, you know, pure evil. Suddenly, Ness's mother felt terribly uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of her son and his friends. Not your dad, though. Just your mom, your sister, and your dog. Bye, Jeff. Do not think of anyone else. Someone, anyone, please help us. Paula's call was absorbed by the darkness. Someone, can you hear me? Please give us strength. Paul and her friends touch the heart of. Pray for the kids having never met them before. Kept praying.
Theo kept praying. <laughs> Cecil kept praying. Ness, now I, well, it's going to seem like I'm running away, but perhaps I'll just sneak away to another era to think about my next plan. It's a good bet that we'll see each other again. Alright, I'll be seeing you. So, which one of us do you think is the cool guy? Jeff didn't survive the encounter. I tried. No big loss. Poor Jeff. This is murder on the bitrate, God. Oh, yeah. The work in sky, I guess, is over. Apparently, there's an enemy here in the cave of the past that can drop Ness's assault weapon, but I didn't encounter it walking through. Um, but it also has a stupid low drop chance, like one in like 256 or something. If our bot bodies destroyed, our souls leave. And somehow reappear in, you know, the correct time and era. And I have my hat back. Then I put it on the robot. Our travels together end here. I must return to Dalam and use the experience for the good of my country. Ness, Paula, Jeff. Let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realize this power is a child. Sigh, farewell. Now. I'll see you again someday. Paula, Ness, it was great hanging out with you guys. It really was. But I had the chance to learn, chance to use some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If, just maybe, well, if you two get hitched someday, maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm going to stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Autonauts. I mean, from my dad. On donuts. So, it looks like this is goodbye. This is goodbye for now, my friends. Ness, will you escort me home? Yes. I miss all of you, but I have to go back to just being a regular kid. Well, gotta get going. 
I'm actually in control. That's so in the present, there's a letter from Mom inside. Dear Ness, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat pizza as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie or something like that? Well, it sounds really great. I want to hear all the details, so hurry home, okay? Tracy King and I are waiting for you. Love, Mom. Letter from Tony. Ness takes it. Thank you, game. Dear Jeff, everything is going really well here. We should have gone with you on your adventure, even just part of the way. But instead, I'm sitting here waiting for you in winters. I'll see you again as soon as possible. Can't wait to see your cheerful face. But your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Yours truly, Tony. P.S. Don't show that to anyone. Whoops. Letter from the kids inside. Ness takes it. This one's for Paula. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm fine too. So are me. Me also. Me okay. Please come play with us in a Polestar Preschool. Hey, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at Polestar Preschool. Saturn, get out of the way! Ah, Ness, you read it already? That, that Tony has a heart of gold. Actually, can I side teleport out of here? Wait, I didn't need three. It's kind of going to crash there, but I guess not. I need Tucson. Tucson. Taxi cab, I need you to move. Like, jeez. This works, I guess. Ness, thank you for escorting me home. Something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. I tried to turn up real quick and didn't work. Dog! <laughs> okay. Oops. I just used teleport. Oops. I just used teleport B. Zoom. Dying OBS, we're almost done. I walked too far while I was looking staring at OBS's connection. Hi, it's Dad. To get to the next level. <laughs> Guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be your birthday, Ness. Trying very hard to get home for that big day. I'll be sure to give you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely, but I want to hear all about them from you in person. You sound a lot more mature over the phone. Well, I'll see you at home then. Bye. Click give you eat. Nope. What do you mean no problem here? Talk to Mom. Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all of your stories, but I don't want to know you since you walk through the door. After all your chats... People we met on the adventure to finally ever, please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. 
finished doing everything you wanted to do? Yes. Okay, now you can finally share your incredible experiences with me. You did so well. I'm not running around talking to everybody because it's time for me to actually end the stream. It's a little after one in the morning and I do have work tomorrow. So I'm not going to do all like the running, talking to all the NPCs and teleporting all over the place. I talk to the party members, you know, talk to Dr. On and Donuts, talk to Mom, talk to Dad, Picky Minch, Laundra Minch, Aliosis Al Mitch, Pokey Mitch, that asshole, Buzz Buzz, dun, 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 dun. if you enjoy the credits to the, uh, the wonderful beat of, um, the Runaway Five. There's the legendary Bubble Monkey and Tessie. Okay, they just watch it explode, They're like, yep, that happened. And there's the awesome little Mr. Saturns. I the only use for a uh, Star Storm Omega I had was to annihilate myself my own party. Dungeon Mom. Pretend to Trisman. Mr. Satin shouldn't be there. The Flying Men, who died pretty early on in Magnuson, and that was it. Then all the photos you take actually show up. See fuzzy pickles. So I'm pretty sure they do. Yeah. trashed house we bought.
But there you go. There's Earthbound. So now you know, you know, pretty cool for SNES game. I know, right? Between Earthbound Beginnings with, you know, Greg and, or not Greg, George and Martha, I believe, were Nintendo's grandparents' names. Having, you know, rescued uh, Gygus and, you know, stole his technology and drove him mad as he tried to come and claim it back and all of that. Well, I mean, driving him mad was unintentional, but, you know, it was a side effect of George's actions for Gygus to try to, you know, destroy Ninten to go be defeated, be driven mad in the process, to find a way to travel to the past and just give all of his power into, like, his, just give everything into his psychic power and, you know, just lose himself completely in it to just become the ultimate body of evil and try and destroy the world. Just for, you know, Pokey to take advantage of it. The little asshole he is. But yeah, the, the overarching story is not much. It's more about, like, the adventure. Oh, right, they were dead there. It's more, like, about the adventure of, you know, getting there. You know, and what Gygus is doing to, you know, everything as... Doing to, well, the world as you're venturing through it, you know. The psychic powers reaching out and driving other things mad and people mad and the animals crazy and... Oh, look, Ness is dead there. <laughs> Only Paula survived that last battle with the moles. My, my switch was like, hey, you haven't touched me a little bit and the screen went dark. But yeah, it's a... Earthbound's a great game for an old SNES game. Like, my two biggest issues with it are the inventory and just how much stronger Ness is than the other three chosen ones in his party. I go, I know he's like the leader of the chosen ones or whatever, and he has the soundstone and he has the psychic, you know, the better psychic powers, and he's the one that becomes the one with the earth and all of that. But like. As the, you know, main protag, Ness is so much stronger. Like, Paula had, like, 200, I think, in 70 HP, and I've given her every Vitality Capsule I've come across. And Ness had 750 HP, max HP. Like... Of course, they're only in the high, like, 60s. I probably could have spent some time and actually did, like, grinding and whatnot and got things done, but... Dungeon Man! I could have made them strong. I could have made it a lot easier on myself if I had taken the time to do some grinding. But, honestly, I was kind of breezing through a lot of the things up until that carbon dog, that lava dog, that turned into diamond dog or whatever. A lot of things weren't really an issue, so. It's whatever. I managed to do it. Even if Jeff didn't survive. And me. And all of you watching the streams. Yay. can't do anything. Does this fade? Or does it just stay here? I don't know if there's something that shows up in a minute. I 
I guess this just sits here. I don't think there's an after, uh, oh, there it goes. I don't remember if there's an after credit scene like there is in Earthbound Beginnings. There might be, actually. Yeah, there is. Dun, 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 dun. Someone's knocking on my door, just like at the start of the game. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. My land. Who you be knocking for this time of night? Would you answer it? I got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. A letter arrived from my brother Pokey. It's addressed to Ness. There's no stamp, and it's not time for the mailman to come. Anyway, I brought it over. It says, come and get me, loser. Spankity, spankity, spankity. I wonder where he is. The end. Question mark? Pokey, of all fucking people, gets the last line of the damn game in the last laugh. Fucking little shithead. But yeah, that's Earthbound. It's done. That's Mother 2. And then from here, it moves into Mother 3, which is another time, another place, another era. And uh, we'll f you'll figure out more about that when we get to that starting here soon. Um, but yeah, this is done. This It doesn't advance past the screen. I'm like 100, I'm like 95% sure this literally just sits here. And this does not do anything this whole time. But, um, yeah, I will, uh, get to Mother 2 probably tomorrow night, um, assuming I am conscious and, you know, awake and ready to do streams, because this is going a little later than I normally go to bed for, um, and I have been losing a lot of sleep this week. <laughs> it's not intentional, it's not the streams keep me up, it's, I, I can survive off, like, the six-ish hours of sleep I get. Um, it's summer. I cannot sleep during the summers. Um, it's very hard for me to sleep in the heat. So, like, every summer, I just, I have terrible time sleeping. So, if I'm awake tomorrow, we'll begin Mother 3. And if I am not awake tomorrow, then Saturday night, we'll begin Mother 3. Um, if I'm not here at all tomorrow, there will be a PQ2 stream Saturday afternoon at some point, like there usually is. Um, and we'll get back to PQ2, back into question mark, question mark, question mark movie. And I have not fixed my personas at all yet in PQ2. I need to do that tomorrow. But that's it. Stream's done. Game's done. Happy fun times. Pokey got the last laugh. And next will be Mother 3. So thank you guys for watching. And you guys have a good night.